Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial on machine learning, we will share things more to do something about Python. So we'll be learning how to detect malicious URL with machine learning. So for example, let's say we have a normal website like web application virus total, which is very popular. And then we have this website. So virus total has several functions, files, to scan files, and then to to scan URLs or websites. So we have the normal Google website. So we're going to scan it with this, right? And it's going to tell us whether the, the whether the website is clean or not clean, whether it's bad or not bad. So these are the details. We use several uh, antivirus to scan it, right? So that is what we are trying to do today. We are trying to try and build a model with, in, with machine learning and then try and apply those model on several websites randomly to see whether it will be able to predict whether it is good or bad. Okay, so let's start. So these are the packages that we need. So we need import pandas for a manipulation of our data frame then numpy for our arrays and then random for randomization so these are the first packages the machine learning packages include scikit-learn so we'll be using feature extraction dot test then we're using tfid that is stem frequency and then I, uh, inverse document frequency vectorizer because most of the urls have several uh, words right inside so we need to avoid know the frequency that the words appears and then avoid repetitions so that is the purpose of this to be able to create them into vectorizer like vectors right transform the test into vectors so we're using the model linear model logistic regression you can use any of the models that you have then you'll be using model selection to to, to split our data into test train test and train data okay so let's load our data this url data.csv will be in the link below most of the work has been done for us by this guy phasing and then so to be easy, there will be no, there, there will be not a lot of much of processing to be done. So when you when you load our data, we store it inside this URL s and an underscore data. Then the type of it is a pandas data frame, right? Core frame. So when you check for the head, there is the data that is given to us. So we have two two columns. The first one is the URL and then the label, right? So this label is going to be a feature. Has already been labeled bad, 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 bad. That means it's, it's malicious, and then good. That means it's good. So, this is our training sets. These are some of random websites that we can have. We'll be using okay. So, let's try and see how to transform our test to feature. These are these things to convert them into feature vectors so that we're able to use them. So, to do that, you can either use the default TFID vectorizer or we can create our own tokenizer and then use it with our vectorizer. Okay, so what, what we are going to do is we are going to split these ones, right? And then remove repetitions like all these dot coms, and then either backslash and all these things are going to be removing them. So this is the function we are going to be creating to do that in Python. So make tokens and then F, which is going to be our input, and I'm going to convert it to string using UTF-8 encode. I'm going to split off all the backslash or the forward slash, and I'm going to store them inside this array or inside this list. I'm going to look through this list, this list that we have here, and then split off by the dashes and then by the points. So that is the main purpose of this. So after that, we're going to combine them, all of them, and then create a list from it and then remove any redundant tokens. So finally, I'm going to remove the dot coms as I was talking about with this function if dot com in total tokens. The total tokens were stored here. So we're removing all the dot com from it okay so this is going to be our function now this is our labels that we have which is going to be our label y variables the bad yes and no a bad and a good and then the features your list is equal to this right so we we'll still be building on the features more so let's try and apply our tokenizer or vectorizer on the features and then to be able to separate the words to get our proper features right okay, so that we're going to transform them transform our list that we had here this our list here it's this our vectorizer so you can either use the default one which is this without any parameter or you can use our make functions pass our make functions make tokens function as our tokenizer inside our vectorizer to be able to transform them into uh, or convert them from test into features to do vectors 
So after that, we're going to split our data set by 80-20 ratio using this function. So train, S train, S test, Y train, and Y test. We're going to train, test, and split our main value of X, which is this one, and then our Y, which were the Y labels, which is 20, 80 or 80 20 and a random of 42 okay so let's try and build our model so in building our model we're using logistic regression we're going to try to uh, build a relation between our training sets now for the features and for the labels with this model right sorry for the noise okay so after building our model let's try and apply our model on our test data that which we split at the 20 aspect the 20 so we see that the score was 0 0.96 which is not bad so it's very good that is 96 percent accurate so we have found that we have a good model so let's try and see whether we can apply that our model to actually predict whether a website is good or not so to do that i have some random website here right so this is normal google search so this I'm going to store them all these websites inside S underscore predict. Then we we'll apply the vectorization on it to transform them into features and into vectors. And then we're going to apply our logistic model, right? Regression model to predict it. So I'm going to store it inside the new predict. Then let's see what is going to happen. Wow. So it is good. This one is good, this one is good, that is good, and then these three ones are actually bad websites. So we do not go there. So let's try another one. So there is this website and we have here, right? Which is this website. So it's having fix fix site, they have done the work for you. So we'll be applying some of these ones. You'll be copying these one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Be applying these ones. These are known that they are fake malicious websites. So you are going to try this website, random website from this website with our model and see whether it's going to work. So that's what I've done here. I've stored them here inside this again. S predict one. Apply the same format to it. Right. Now I'm applying the same format to it. And then let's see how it's going to be. See that all of them are bad, bad, bad. Just like this website is saying that this website here, every website here is a bad website. Disclaimer saying that make this like we discourage any form of communication this type because these websites are actually bad. So our model actually predicted that these websites are bad. So thank you for watching this long tutorial. So this is the aspect if you are using the default, it's going to also work if you use the default vectorizer without the tokenizer function. Just follow the same format, and then it's going to give us the same model building right just like the previous one without putting inside your make function and then you realize that it is 96.4 so which is quite better okay so thank you for watching if you have any question or com uh, comment you can just put inside the comment section so everybody can benefit please don't forget to subscribe stay blessed